Hey guys, Jaden here. Um, finally, I'm going to make the video for PBP for you guys. PBP, picture by picture for you guys. Um, I know I was supposed to do it earlier, but I got uh, pretty immersed in gaming, so it took a lot longer than I was supposed to. So, as you can see here, we have uh, the CRG9 in full screen. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to grab the camera, and then I'm going to bring it over here a little bit, and under here is a button that opens up the menu. Now, as you can see the menu there, all right, I am going to push up, and then we see the big menu items. Now, if you can, let me try to zoom in so you guys can see. Um, there we go. So as you can see with the menu open, it shows quite a few options. The uh, black equalizer, it shows, oops, I knocked it down, sorry, hold on. Um, it shows the black equalizer, it shows the response time, it shows the refresh rate, it shows the uh, free sync, and it shows the low input lag. Um, so basically all we're going to do is we're going to come over into the picture section and we're going to scroll down to PBP and we're going to turn PBP mode on. And once we do that, it back up for you and you'll be able to see the screen now breaks apart. Now you have options on what the screen can look like. Okay, oops, hold on, let me get back in focus. I'm new to this guy, so just uh, give me a second. What's wrong with this? Oops. Okay. There we go. Alright, so when PvP mode is on, first thing I want you guys to notice is that FreeSync is turned off. Uh, when you turn PvP mode on, it automatically turns off. Secondly, it gives you three options for aspect ratio. 16, two 16 by nines beside each other, a 21 by nine to the left, an 11 by nine to the right, and an 11 by nine to the left and a 21 nine by the right. Unfortunately, this does not allow you to put the screen in the middle. Um, I know that that was a feature that a lot of us were looking for, and I'm a little bummed out about it myself with PvP, but that is not the way to go. Um, but as you can see, the screen is still quite wide, and it played the video games that I tr tried to play pretty well. Um, to give you a quick show, hold on one second. Um, okay, hold on, let's sit this down for a second, if I can hold it. So to give you a quick show, um, what am I trying to open up? Oh, sorry, the, the controller. So it changes your uh, resolution to 3360 by 1440p. So it's still uh, it's still at 1440p 2K resolution. The only thing that changes here, oh no, it didn't. It actually stayed. So my 10-bit color state. That's fine. Um, yeah. So that's it. It came out pretty well. So the other thing that uh, people were talking about was the option for changing the screen size. Um, this has not panned out very well for me. So if somebody else knows how to use this correctly, I would love to see it. Um, basically, where is it? Yeah, so no, 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 no. I'm sorry. That is wrong. It is... nope, it's not there. It's not there. Is it here? Oh, uh, you know what? It may be in the game side. Yeah, it's here. So the whole, the entire game, uh, the entire game um, menu is grayed out when you're in PvP also. So you can't change any of that stuff. So there's no free sync, no black equalizer, no low input lag, no virtual aim, no screen size mode. All of that is is unavailable when you're in PvP. Um, so that's also something to think about. Um, 
let's see. Uh, let me turn PVP off and go to the other option that that was there. All right, PVP is off, and as you can see, free sync turned back on. Um, and let me zoom out real quick, and you see my screen has pretty much come back to the way it was. So, oops, damn it! Let's turn this. Okay. So, now that's back on, the other option was screen size. Now this is grayed out as long as FreeSync is on. So you have to turn FreeSync off in order to make this work. But I'm not sure if that really is going to matter for you guys anyway, because honestly, it didn't seem like a great tool. So I click on screen size, and now it allows me to change into a few different sizes and let's say I want to just go to 29 inch 21 by 9 so let's see what that looks like now from there that may be looking okay but let me close up so you can see what the icons look like they've gotten really slim skinny and distorted not distorted but they 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 look like they're being smushed in somehow. Um, you can also see that in the taskbar. They look like they're being uh, smushed some way somehow. It's a very weird, uh, very weird scenario here. Not really sure why it's doing that. Now it does that for all of those options, and I'm not sure why. So I'm a little stuck on whether it's a good option to use or not. Um, I haven't really tried to mess with it and see if I, you know, can can fix that. But I just haven't been interested since PVP works. Um, but again, it doesn't work the way we were hoping to, where we were going to get. Uh, you know, uh, one big 21 by 9 screen in the middle and then have two uh, and then have two black bars uh, on, on the other sides where we could use that space. That doesn't seem to be possible unless you're using easy setup mode, which is, let's say, for instance, I go here, click on uh, a browser. All right. There I am on Reddit. All right. With easy setup mode on, it automatically allows me to choose where I want to put this. And I can put that in the middle, I guess. And then I can use these two sides to make a difference. Um, I can actually open up anything and do that. Uh, what's another thing? Okay, let's open up Amazon Music and try it. Okay, Amazon Music on. It allows... Uh, what will it? So some apps I am noticing are not working with with uh, with easy setting, but or easy setup. I think that's what it's called. But I don't know. Let's see. Oh, this one doesn't either. There's supposed to be a white button that pops up in the corners. Let's see. Um, Easy setup there. So yeah, there's supposed to be. There we go. We could change the grid, and then from there, okay, uh, readjust it. Doesn't seem like it's doing anything. Yeah, I guess that's readjusting it. Okay. So yeah, you can do it with easy settings, but that means you have to put your games in uh you have to put your games in window in, in window mode and then shape it for that i'm not sure if that actually works you know what we could try it now and see i'm gonna put the tv down here i'm gonna put the camera there and let's see if that actually works uh, let's see what game should i try this with something easy that's not gonna give me a lot of problems you know what? We can try with Assassin's Creed. Hmm. 
Oops, not sure what happened there. But, oh, there it is. Okay. For people who 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 have uh, who are wondering about uh, uh, what graphics card you should have for this, I wouldn't. I would say not to have anything under an RTX twenty eighty. Um, this thing takes takes a lot of performance. Um, I have two 2080s in SLI. The games that I use uh, that that run SLI run awesome. The games that I don't uh, don't use in SLI, some of them run good, some of them run bad. For instance, Division Division Two runs pretty good in in with, with a single graphics card on this monitor, but. This game here, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, runs terrible. With if I get probably like 20, 30 frames per second, um, like this. So let's go to options real quick. Change this to window. Hit apply. Same thing. And can I even use? Hmm. I feel like it can't even wrap. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there you go. We can move it into we can move it into the easy setup. And let's see how it plays. Because graphically I have everything on high, but that's because I was using the 21 by 9. Uh, aspect ratio in PvP, but let's run it real quick and see how it does. Got a feeling it's not going to run that good. Oh, I feel like that's already a bad sign. It's not running too terrible. It's in the 40s, which, I mean, for some people, it's terrible. It's still viewable. It looks like we're going into the 50s a little bit. I mean, I could probably bring down the settings some. Right now, it's on high settings. I could probably bring down the settings some, but... It's not terrible. It's actually probably a little playable. Hold on one second. Get my controller. Let's see if this works a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's pretty stuck in the pretty stuck in the 40s, the high 40s to the low 50s. It doesn't look like it's going any higher than that. So, at high settings, it's not terrible. It's still playable. So, um, yeah, and I guess we can throw up other. Uh, we can throw up the other uh, the other things that people may like to use, like uh, Steam or uh, Discord on these sides. So, I mean, it's doable. It's it's you know it's doable, but. It's not what we kind of thought it was going to be, so, but that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll answer as soon as I can. Peace.